Good morning, YouTube. This is Junior from North Carolina. I just want to take a minute to make a video. This will be my first one. And I wanted to uh, show you what I do for a living. I build pig cookers and grills. And I've got one here I've completed. And I just want to walk around with you, show you some of the features of it, and um, see how you like it. Hope you enjoy it. And thank you for watching. Okay, here's a picture of the cooker from the side. And I want to apologize ahead of time. I'm right here kind of beside the road up here on the hill where I get a good view. If you hear a car passing or anything, it cuts out. I apologize for that, but we'll try to do it kind of swift and quick. But we we'll walk around it. Uh, I always have put nice shells on the front. I like to put the little split shells where you can get to your latch. I always put a heavy duty latch on it. You just open it like that. And a lot of cookers like this with the big oval drums or the big round drums, a lot of guys and girls also that weld and build, they'll take and cut the drum in half and make the lid open up the whole half or third away i kind of like mine like a smoker it keeps the lid light keeps the heat inside and i'll show you right quick i always think it's pretty neat but um you just take it open it right up it's got a real small lid and i'll back it up and let you look at it see how it just opens up and it keeps your heat in there longer and uh if you got like a couple cases of chicken or boston butts or a pig you're barbecuing you can just take and uh, always give a set of gloves with each grill and they're just welding gloves or you can buy barbecue gloves and um i just have it where you take a glove out Let's see if i can get one right quick let you take a glove out put it on you can reach right here at the handle grab the handle even though it's gonna be hot on the grill if you got a welding glove like i say the heat won't bother you you just slide it out i have little catches on each end that i make just little pieces of angle welded on each side to help hold but you'll notice if you're, if you're cooking for a church or uh, leg quarters or anything like that people can walk stand all around with plates and you can just reach here with your tongs and take your leg quarters off and put it in the plates or turn them around or also put a stainless grease shield in them so you can scrape the grease off of them but like i said it slides right back in real easy always keep the track sprayed with cooking spray that's a tip if you keep it sprayed with cooking spray, it'll slide, you know, a whole lot better. And uh, we'll shut it back. And I'll walk around. Let me show you the front. And here's a little bucket I put with them. I, you can pick these up anywhere. I think we got these at, um, I think Hobby Lobby or Lowe's, anywhere. It has them little tea, uh, craft tin buckets. And what it is, I put a ball valve on them. You can hang them right down here on the ball valve handle, just like that. You can open up your grease drain, just like it right there. And if you got an asphalt driveway, cement driveway, or cooking for somebody, or either your own driveway, you'll sit right there and, and grease drip right in the bucket and stay off everything. These are little vents that I put. I got one for the smokestack, one on each end. You can always check your gas flow and adjust your air properly if you need to put a little air for the bottom of the grill to pull some air. Here's the smokestack one. They're all the same. I just get them made like that economy so I can use them all in the same place. Like I say, just do something different. Also, I want to walk around and show you the pigs I have cut out. These are about probably roughly around probably 14 to 15 inches, but about 8 inches. And they come with stain nice stainless button head bolts and they stick off of the grill a little bit. Gives you that nice 3D look. I just try to do something different. Apologize for that noise. That I can get back here and get you a good look at it. I mean, it just looks neat going down the road. Like I said, something different. I don't see it's a lot of them you'll see to weld them on the top of the lid or something like that. I just like to put mine on the ends. I also had little chickens made or roosters. I thought that was neat the same way. These are roughly probably about nine by nine or something. They stick out, same stainless bolts, and they give you that 3D look. They stick off the grill a little bit to keep the heat from uh, fading them out. On the burners, I make my own air adjustments, as you can see. I make the little screen wire in there so it keeps dirt daubers and bugs out and also pulls a nice even flow of air to the burner, but I make those. And it's got an inch and a half um, regular steel pipe in there, thick wall, schedule 40. Burns good. We'll light it in a, in a minute or so. But um, just use the regular, regular regulators. And I like these, the high pressure, they're only about 10 pounds. That's all you need. And they got a nice little vac cut off valve on the end of them where you can fine tune your flame. That's very nice. But you don't need nothing strong. Those great big red regulators and all, you, you don't need all that. 10 pounds, when you're mostly cooking a hog or slow cooking something, you just need just enough gas to get it around 2, 250. And you know, you can always go up to 450, 550 if you want to cook something more like steaks or something like that. 
but uh, we'll go back and get some views of it and then I'll light it up for you. And uh, like I said, I'm really proud of the work I do. Don't do many of them because like I say, I'm, I'm just by myself and in my backyard, but I take pride in what I do and I really think they turn out good. Hope you enjoy it. But what we'll do, I'll light, come over here and light it for you. Got an old gas tank. Come over here and set it up for you. Always on gas grills, any kind of gas grill, even from Lowe's or anywhere, you always make sure the lid is opened up. You don't want to build up a lot of gas and then put flame to it. Open it up like that. Always have your lid open. It's just the safest way to do it. Like I say, I apologize for the traffic again. But you come down here to these little vents I got, and I put a larger hole on this side so you won't have no problem striking it. But what you do, what you want to do is take your regulator, bring it over to your tank, and you want to tighten it up. Make sure it's good and tight. Make sure it's good and tight, and then straighten your regulator out, and you can bring it away from the grill a little bit. That's the nice thing about having about a five-foot five foot hose. You can get away from your grill, you know, to have your tank away from the hot grill. But what you want to do is make sure that your valve is off. Make sure it's all the way to the right and cut off. Then you can cut your tank valve on. And cut it. I like cutting mine all the way on so you can have that little valve in there. It'll come all the way up, make sure it's getting good gas flow. Come over to your burner, and if you'll notice, I'll try to zoom in. <laughs> but you can see it's solid right now. See the, the silver part right here of, of the metal part where I painted? It's solid. You don't have any airflow. When you turn it like this, see it's starting to get dark. That screen wire just got airflow to the burner. When always when you light a grill, get it as tight as you can and block all the air. That allows all the gas to rush down the burner and light fast. It'll be an orange flame, but then you can just fine tune it. But what you do is come back here and you'll just turn this valve on real slow. You start hearing the gas hissing. As soon as you hear it hissing, take your little striker and you'll look down there. And we'll go to the other end and I'll show you how orange it is. We'll come down here. But you look in there and see how orange and high it is. And we'll come back down here. And as I was telling you, a little adjuster piece, start finding that air. See how it's starting to get air to it? Just turn it on and you can keep peeping at it. And we'll go back down and see how blue it is now. It should be. We'll see if I can get you in there and get a good, good bit part of the flame. There you guys see how blue you just do have very little flicker of yellow. That's what you want right there. And it's pretty all the way down. And you get it like that. And then you can just watch your temperature. As you shut your lid back, you can always look at your gauge. And it won't take a while to start. And you can close your vent and start holding the heat in. But as the temperature starts to rise, you want to come over to your ball valve and probably give it about, i say a good five minutes. Five or ten if you can, once it gets good and warm. And if, it's, if your temperature's too high, just turn it in some and slow the gas down. Just a little bit, at the, little increments at a time, though, because it makes a big difference. And then give it a little while and see if the gauge is, and it'll rest on 250, rest on 200. 200 or 350 wherever you need it once you fine-tune it and leave it alone that gas will stay right there as long as you got gas supplying and everything set up you just come back over here and shut your lid like i said later on when you get a lot of meat on it or a big pig or something like that you can just some air right here let the air pull through so the bottom will draw some air but she'll sit right there like i said we'll crank it up right quick let it out and let some gas get to it you hear it making a hissing sound we come up here See, it's already climbing to 200. But you can come out here and turn it back in and fine tune it a little bit where it just does make a hissing sound. And like I say, just wait, give it about five or 10 minutes and let it regulate. You can open up your vent now, let all the heat out. But that's pretty, that's easy as it is. And like I say, if everything's set right and you got the burner burning good and blue and everything's right, you can just sit right there, put your pig, your Boston butts, leg quarters whatever you're cooking that day sit around get some chairs sit around with your family and friends and cut up laugh a little bit i love doing that life's too short apologize for that car again but life's too short not to laugh and cut up sometime
with everything going on in the world these days and it's good to um, get with family and friends and, like I say laugh and cut up and uh, fellowship and feed everybody we try to do that from time to time but um, I just hope that you enjoy today um, like I say this is my first video I'm not a pro at it but uh, the next couple of, I may do a next couple of two or three videos like a, I don't know if I'm gonna do them together or separate but I think I'm gonna build a charcoal one like this one next with a slide out pan and I'm gonna try to video each step so this is the end result but I'm gonna try to make a couple of videos a little bit a lot longer to show you how I do different things and you know how I make them like I say you know there's so many people in the world that make them different ways and I just like being a little different and customizing you know you don't want the same old thing all the time you don't want to copy what everybody else does I take little ideas here and there and then add my own but I mean it's to me you know it's, it's just a really nice grill I like, I like the bright red I do them in black also but I just like the little features like the grease bucket and the little emblems the pig and the chicken just makes it all look pretty good but um that's pretty much it I still got it burning we'll walk over here and just see yeah it's about 275 right now like I say if you want to back it down a little more you could just turn it in and slow it down a little bit more and it probably this grill will probably go around 250 or something like that maybe 225 but that's about what you want for a pig or something like that but um like I say I'll just walk around and show you right quick and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video like I said it's my first one um like share it subscribe um just just want to thank you for your time everybody have a blessed day and thank you for watching